I now give the floor to His Excellency Mohammad Javad Zarif, Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. President, maintaining international peace and security and preventing and removing threats to peace constitute the very raison d'etre of our organization. Thus, a renewed focus on peace building and sustaining peace is of singular importance in light of the tensions that we are currently facing, particularly in our region, which has suffered the most from lingering conflicts and crises. Conflict prevention, Mr. President, in our region requires focusing on the root causes, including the mutually reinforcing afflictions of occupation, foreign intervention, and extremism. Additionally, advancing hegemonic illusions or attempting to achieve security at the expense of insecurity of others through exclusion and block formations have invariably caused tension and conflict, leading to various cases of destructive arms race. It is thus crucial to now shift to a new paradigm based on combining our forces to create a strong region instead of any one of us seeking to be the strongest in our region. And shifting from forming security blocks to accepting security networking. Both are predicated on respect for the interest of all stakeholders, large and small, coupled with a win-win approach. In the current interconnected world, no country's security can be assured at the expense of insecurity of others. Iran believes that it is imperative to move away from the current zero-sum paradigm of seeking regional hegemony and exclusion in our immediate neighborhood, which has witnessed devastating wars in the past four decades. And we ask all to join our efforts to advance the goals of a strong region and also security networking. Such a transformational agenda requires acceptance of and respect for a set of common principles coupled with confidence-building measures. To advance this, we have proposed creating a regional dialogue forum in the Persian Gulf region to overcome the challenge of building and sustaining peace in our region. We here invite our neighbors in this volatile waterway which has seen too many wars to join us in this endeavor. And we expect the United Nations to assist in the process through the arrangements envisaged some 30 years ago but never implemented in paragraph 8 of Security Council Resolution 598. I thank you, sir.